some places were below the radar, but they won't be any longer. Youngstown's law director talking about the club where a weekend shooting took place outside. Today, police were looking to learn more about the event being held inside the establishment. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. Investigators continue to look through evidence and talk to witnesses. Today, they confirmed two people died, but they are still working to learn how it all started. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has our top story at six. Two days after it happened, Youngstown police detectives now believe they have an overall idea of what occurred early Sunday morning outside the Torch Club on Salt Springs Road. Now we're at the process now of, of after we got some basic uh, statements from the individuals at the scene, we wanted to verify their accounts. One thing police have determined is only two people were killed. They're now confirming Charles Borio, who was initially thought to have been caught up in the gunfire and crashed down the street, was never shot and is now being called the victim of a violent car accident. In the meantime, detectives are still going through surveillance videos and talking with witnesses. And as police continue piecing everything together from early Sunday morning, other departments in and outside City Hall are now taking a serious look at places like Club Torch and the events they hold there. Authorities believe the bar had been rented for a party and a couple hundred people were drinking both in and outside the building. And I think maybe we need to review our special events permit and see if, if maybe we need some legislation locally to incorporate these kinds of events. And We've learned inspectors with both code enforcement and the fire department will be checking for violations. We need to sort of analyze this from, from, from every aspect. But police are also concerned about the proliferation of guns they've come across in recent months. Even security guards are being armed. Everybody's flush with firearms at this point. Um, we're trying to understand what that is from. For now, no one's been charged in the shootings. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.